Hey there, Lauren with Big Cartel Support here today to help you set up your shop's checkout. Before we get started, head to the account section and we'll quick take a look at currency. This is what will display in your shop's prices. Regardless of where your shoppers are in the world, they're going to see the currency that you have this set. They will see the adjusted currency rate in the final stages of the PayPal checkout and also on their credit card statement if they're using Stripe. All right, let's get started. You're going to want to scroll down to the Get Paid section, and that's where we're going to spend most of our time today. All you'll want to do is click Set Up Your Payment Options, and you'll see that you have an option to use Stripe or PayPal. If you are somewhere in the world where Stripe is not yet accepted, not to worry, this won't display for you at all, but you can still connect PayPal. We're going to get started with Stripe, and all you need to do is click the Connect button here. Now, if you don't have a Stripe account, we're going to go through those steps today on getting that started. But if you already have a Stripe account, you're just going to want to click the sign in button here to click your, your Stripe account to your Big Cartel checkout. So to activate your account, this is really important for you to get all of this information correct because this is essentially where your payments are going to be sent. You're going to see some information will be auto populated here in this form, like what country you're located in. You will also want to add things like your business address, your business phone if you have one, and the type of business that you have. Most shops we have are an individual or sole proprietor, but not to worry, there's lots of things here that you can choose. Some shops who are further along in their business setup may have an employer identification number. This is totally optional to set up, but if you do have an EIN, go ahead and add that here. You'll see that your business website will be your big cartel URL that's auto automatically populated here. You'll also want to choose a business description. This lets Stripe know that the business that they are processing payments for is legit. So you're going to want to select something that is very close to what you are um, selling in your shop. You'll also want to add a description, what you're selling, to whom you sell, and when you charge your customers. We sell merchandise in our test shop with Big Cartel logos, that's original artwork, anything including notebooks, pens, clothing, and we also are just selling to shoppers um, looking for unique items. And that's a description that Stripe will check just to make sure you're a legit business. You'll also want to ask, answer if you ship the product yourself or if you're using a third party or a fulfillment service or a third party app. We ship ourselves, so I'm going to click yes. And then it will also ask how long after paying your customers do they typically receive their goods. We like to give a little wiggle room for our shipping, so we'll say within two weeks, and that's what we're going to answer. We'll also have your own um, personal information here, your, your legal name, phone number, date of birth. This is just Stripe's way um, to check to make sure you're legit too. All of, these all of this information you're going to want to, of course, double check as well. You'll also see here that there are credit card statement details. This is what's going to show up on your shopper's credit card or bank statement after they make a purchase in your shop. So sometimes you might see a, you know, a charge that has been made to your account that you don't recognize. This is where you could add a phone number so your shoppers will be able to give a call in case they don't recognize um, your shop name on their credit card statement. You can also toggle to use your business address if you'd like for shoppers to see that as well. Now, on to the part where it's super important, your bank details. This is where you are going to provide your bank account in which your payments made through your Big Cartel shop and are processed by Stripe will be deposited into your account. So you're going to want to add a routing number. If you have um, a checkbook, that's usually the first section of numbers there that you can add. And then you're going to want to add an account number, which is usually that second set of numbers on your checkbook. This last num these last numbers are usually just check numbers when we use checks back in the olden days. <laughs> now, if you don't have a checkbook or you don't know your account number, you're going to want to call your bank to triple confirm that information. And again, Stripe is so smart, they actually have you confirm that account number down here again, just to make sure they have the right bank account to send your payments to. Now, you can also you, um, activate two-step on authentication, and this is going to really strengthen your account security. So it's a required step for Stripe. You can either get a text message or you can use Google Authenticator for that. And then you'll be almost done. Just enter in your email, enter in a password, and then you'll want to click authorize access to this account. And then this will link up your new Stripe account to your Big Cartel Shops checkout. All right, heading back, let's set up PayPal now. Again, you're going to want to be in the get paid section and you'll just want to click the connect button there. Now, if you already have a PayPal account, this is really simple. You're just going to want to enter in your email address and then click Next. Okay. 
And after that, it's going to want to ask for your password here. And once we log in, we'll see you've successfully author authorized Big Cartel to process payments in your shop. No need to click continue to PayPal to set up. You just want to click go back to Big Cartel and you'll see you'll have a green check mark here to accept payments with PayPal. Now, let's say you wanted to change the accounts that you have linked up to your shop. Sometimes businesses change owners or you have a new account that you want to set up. No problem at all. Just click edit your payment options and here you can click the disconnect button. One thing I did want to mention is that if you wanted to offer PayPal credit to buyers at checkout, you absolutely can by just toggling this switch. If this is toggled to green and you click save, your buyers will be able to um, use PayPal credit at checkout as well. This is a great option if you don't want to use Stripe or if Stripe isn't available in your shop at this time. All right, well, I hope you had fun setting up your checkout today, getting ready to take payments in your shop. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to us at support at bigcartel.com or by clicking the little chat bubble in your shop's admin.